Hello everyone, Leather Team Scale here, also known as Scale, and welcome back to more Storyteller, where I am having a blast of a time. I might not be doing the best commentary, but I don't care, I'm having so much fun. Alright. The cellar. Inter How many chapters is this? I mean, if there's 60, each one has four parts. Right, what the hell is 60 divided by four? I'm I'm so bad at math. This was not I I should have started this better. Okay, so there's 15 chapters, because that's 60 divided by 4. So if each, if like clear conditions don't, like additional clear conditions, which this looks like it has, and this looks like it has, don't add extra stars to me, then chapter 15 should be the last. Lenora drinks poison. Do we need a wedding? Do we need a wedding? Oh. She's got no reason to drink poison. Okay, hold on. Let's think about this here. <clears throat> Cause I do I need to show the consequences of her dying? So let's give her a reason to Nope. Let's give her a reason to drink poison. Because she misses him. Okay, so for the poison one to work. There has to be a reason for it. Otherwise, she's just sitting there in front of the... That's right, because, like, healthy... Mentally healthy people and people who are not going through emotional things are not going to just drink poison for no reason. It makes sense. Double poison. Ooh, okay. So they get married. She dies. He drinks poison. Um... I mean, he would have to die. But she's not... Here, hold on. We revive her. He dies. So now she's heartbroken again. Because he dies from the poison. And then she drinks poison. Someone drinks poison twice. That's an option? Okay, hold on. Let's think about this. How do I do that? Okay. So he dies... Or he revive. Okay, she revives. Okay, so let's switch it. Oh no, that does kill him. Okay, interesting. Okay, so let's try this. What if instead he revives and then drinks poison again? Because for some reason he came back to life and he didn't want that. Okay. Isabel. Haunted by her husband. Oh, there's a fight mechanic. Okay, so Isabel and Edgar get married. They have a fight. What is this wine thing? Is there a... Hmm. Oh, so she gets the idea to poison him there. And then he can die... And then... There we go. Interesting. So because she took out her revenge on him... Because she took out her revenge on him... So otherwise she just ends up like... If there's no fight... She just ends up a little bit like... Unnerved by the fact that there's a ghost at the altar. Um, but because his life ended in malice... He haunts her. That's interesting. Okay. Order of jealousy. Ooh, okay. So let's get those two together because I always love them together. He tries to get with Isabel. So instead, he thinks, no, 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 don't drink that. We don't need to heartbreak you. Um. What happens if I just... Okay, so you've got no reason to poison... Hmm. <sighs> okay. Let's think about this here. No, I don't want you dead. Okay, let's think about this again. How do I do this? Okay, but that's not gonna work. Okay, so they get married. I don't think he needs to get heartbroken. 
No, that just repeats that. Okay. He's got no reason for the poison. I don't want you drinking it. I want you to come up with the idea to poison her. How do we do that? How do we get them? Because I don't want him drinking it. I Because you've got no reason. Are you just naturally evil? Because you're thinking about it. So then maybe what has to happen... Maybe her character is just that she's slightly more evil. Oh my god, yeah, her character is just that she's... That's why she's got that face. But everyone meets their demise. I like this. Okay, hold on. Because... And then... There we go. <laughs> That's brilliant. Okay, so she's just naturally evil. I mean, I do still like the idea of those two ending up together, but that's brilliant. Okay. The ceremony. All right, so we're at sixteen. Of Ooh. Novels. Final chapter. Is that for just these characters? Edgar murders his wife. Oh, we get a murder. Okay. Um. Why though? Why is he inclined? Yeah, he's got no reason to want to kill her. Maybe because she's evil? What if... Okay, so she's got no reason to want to kill her. Okay, hold on. Let's think about this here. Because she's inclined to want to kill somebody. Um. Hmm. I do like that she's inclined to want to kill. So let's. How do we get Edgar to murder his wife? He's got no reason to want to kill her. <sighs> let's try this. Okay, so she wants to. Okay, let's swap this. Um, I just want to play this out a little bit more. Okay. He performs a seance, learns the truth, then he chooses to kill her and succeeds. <laughs> I, did, I was like, I'm just, this, it's letting me do this and just keep doing the story, so let's just see if we can keep plugging things in. Okay. Duke shoots detective to avoid prison. Interesting. Okay. So, maybe we put the Duke and the Duchess? No, no, no. The Duke and the King? No, that doesn't do anything. Okay, the Duke and the Duchess together to fall in love. There is a witness? Unless we... Okay. Oh, so she falls in love with whomever. Okay. Um, okay, so the Duke shoots the detective to avoid prison. Let's see what happens as to this. Okay, so... Oh, okay, let's switch this. So we'll put the... We'll put the duke in there. Okay, so he gets a little angry. Does... Okay, so the duke's ready to kill. Okay, so... But he can't... Hmm. Okay, so they're still in love. Okay, so he wants to kill the king. So if we put that in there, so he sees it. Um, okay. Okay, so he's in jail.
Okay, so I got him to witness the murder. Um... What if I do that? Okay, so I have to have a reason for him to go to prison. Which, honestly, shooting the king, pretty good reason. Because he's not going to shoot the duchess. Okay, so that takes that away from him. What if... And the ghost of the king? And then... Okay, so I, that doesn't work. Oh, God, okay. Hmm. Um... Okay, nope. Hmm. I gotta think about this. Oh, God. Nope, okay. I don't want him putting back the gun. How do I do this? Okay, let's think this through. So in order for the Duke to avoid prison, he has to do something worthy of going to prison. So he needs a reason to want to shoot the king. The detective needs to witness him shooting the king. The duke needs to understand that the detective saw him. So... <laughs> but then if we put those two together, he goes to jail instantly. So... How do I get him to shoot? Hmm. How do I get him to shoot him without... How do I get him to know that he's been caught? Let's just try a little bit of everything. Nope. Okay, jail. Okay. Well, based on that terror, I assume he's dead. Nope. Uh, let's just try this. Nope. Huh. What is the correct... <coughs> what if I do that? No? Um... Okay, think about this. Uh, nope. Let's try the witness. I got it. Okay, so what if he swapped those, tells her, and then shoots the detective? Because he knows that he knows because she told him. Got it. Doesn't that mean he also has to shoot the Duchess, though? That took way too long. Oh. Okay. So, let's start off. Snowy and the Prince. Okay. Um. Okay, so we got a reason for her to hate Snowy. Turns herself into an old lady? Does that help me? Does he go out into the forest and then, what, meet her? Okay. They fall in love. And kiss. Oh, 
That's cute. I like that. Um, how do I get her to see? Okay, nope, she gets slighted either way. Um, I mean, all that just tells me is that they're cute. How do I... Nope. Okay, so she's got no reason. Okay, I got a better idea. What if... Okay, um, let's do this. Fall in love. Put the witch there. Does she see from the mirror? No. Hmm. Okay, so I think we still go back to switching it. <laughs> like that that was an option. Okay. Um How does she learn though about those two? No. Okay, so the only one that can interact with that Uh, oh god. Alright. Okay, no. He won't marry her. Um. Okay, no. He won't do that. Okay, so the mirror only likes her. How does... Who learns of this, though? Okay, hold on. How do we do this? Because she's already got reason enough to hate her. So let's do that. Prince then meets up with her. They kiss. Um, I don't know. Does that change that? No. Okay, no, that doesn't work. Okay, no. Okay, I, f I figured out how to make him unfaithful. How do I get her to see that he's unfaithful? Nope, she still loves him because she doesn't know. Okay, so we got her turned into a frog. So we know how this works. But we gotta figure out how to get her instead angry at him for being unfaithful. What if we do this? What? Okay, no, hold on. Um, what if... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, because he ends up unfaithful. Right? Because then she's mad at him? Right? No, that does nothing. Um, I don't know. I'm glad that he's so happy that she's there, but... <sighs> I don't know how to do this.
Okay, so she turns him into a frog once she's been changed, but she doesn't have any idea. She's angry. <laughs> Is that no that doesn't fix that. Okay, so she won't do it at the end if she's not unrequited. I, mm, I'm struggling with this one. Okay. Let's think this through. Let's start all the way back. So what do we know? Okay, so a husband needs to be unfaithful. So do we... We set up a love story between everybody? Okay, so we got that. She wants to get married to him? But he's already married. So now we turn her into a witch and then she turns him into a frog. Right? Um, I mean, that seems right. Hmm. So, how does that... I think it's his heart broken. Well, that's good, at least. How do I fix this? I just love, though, that she won't kiss him. I don't... So, we have a marriage. He was continually unfaithful afterwards. Then she has a reason to get angry at him and then turns him into a frog. What if the issue is that she gets turned into a frog? Um. Okay, that doesn't change that. I feel like that should be the end of the story, but I... Hmm. I just can't wrap my head around it. Oh. Well, I'm gonna... I'll think on it a little bit more. And I won't start the next episode till I get a better idea of it. Um, in the meantime, take care, everybody. <laughs>